Hey, good morning, Mike. Yeah, and we're finally going to be talking about it moving into our area. I think a lot of people are like, OK, we get it. It's moving in. But you know, the best part about this is that we're continuing to see some beautiful views across East Tennessee. So yes, we're taking a look at some of this dust that has been moving in from the Sahara. It is this cloud that we have been tracking, this plume of dust that we've been tracking for really the past few days. And as you mentioned, it's traveled about 4,000 miles. Let's take a look at some of our graphics as we can kind of see where it's located at and when and it's going to be impacting us here in East Tennessee. So as we put this into motion going into your weekend, it still is primarily south of us for today, but come Saturday afternoon and going into your Sunday is when we expect to see the highest amounts of dust here locally. What does that mean? Again, we've been focusing on the positives here. Yes, it is going to reduce the air quality for some folks. You may notice it just a little bit when it comes to your sniffles, uh, but boy, it's provided some beautiful sunsets. This was last night on the Foothills Parkway. Jeff Weaver shared this photo with us. Those oranges and those reds. Yesterday we talked about why we see those colors. It's the wavelengths that we have uh, from the color spectrum. The blues, they tend to be shorter wavelengths. The oranges and the reds tend to be a little bit longer, and that's why we see those with our eyes. Uh, there's that look at that sunset that we had at Shohawi Dam, shared to us by Patricia Laney. And then the sunset that we had last night at Douglas Lake. Mike's been saying it's a perfect weekend forecast for the lake. Couldn't agree more, but don't forget if you are out and about, take those pictures of those sunsets and those sunrises. I have a feeling that we're going to get a lot of those into our station as need be. We'll send it back to you, Heather. And